hope you enjoyed the show. I did. I enjoyed the show so much. Okay, so for this episode, we're going to have you listen to selections from an album that was released 50 years ago today, back in 1967. All right, 67 was a very good year. Well, you're hitting me right in my wheelhouse. Well, the album is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band by the Beatles. Beatles, I remember that. You found the one thing I know. I've been waiting for five years for this. There was nothing like the Beatles. And I had full on Beatlemania. Does take me back. We hope you will enjoy the show. Actually, I don't even know this song. I love that. <laughs> okay, that's the beginning of Sergeant Peppers. I remember my kid is giving it to me, and I'm thinking, what is this? What are these four funny-looking young men? I was at a place called. Uh, Liberty Records. President of our company called and said, hey Don, there's this British guy here, and uh, he wants to kind of learn about the record company, record business. Well, lo and behold, this is a honest to God, we had dinner at the Beverly Hills Hotel, and that went on to be, and was then, and <laughs> still was, George Martin. What would you think if I sang out it? Oh, yeah. Would you stand up and walk out on me? Yeah, this is a great song. This makes me sad. It reminds me of my ex-boyfriends. Oh, I get by with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. I don't get high, though. <laughs> I was a square. I love that song. This is my heyday music. It's great stuff. In Europe, Melody was more important than lyrics. That is not true in the U.S. Lyrics were very important, but this song had both. Oh, yeah. Picture yourself in a John's vocals. On a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. Marmalade skies. There's the hook. Oh, yeah. Give me goosebumps, man. LSD, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. And their harmonies. I mean, Lennon McCartney, there's never going to be, in my lifetime, anything like that again. Every song on that album could have been a single. Makes me think about how innocent I was. <laughs> I had no idea what they were talking about. It's getting better all the time. I used to get mad at my school. <laughs> oh, you guys are taking me way back. <laughs> Great memories. Have to admit, it's getting better. It's a little better. All the time. This one is nice, but not really too familiar. Yeah, that was good. I like that. That rhythm, that beat. It's Beatles. That might might have been one of my favorites. Boy, how did they know? How did what genius got inside their minds and hooked them up? I'm fixing a hole where the rain gets in and stops my mind from wandering. You know, that's actually very good advice. And it really doesn't matter if I'm wrong. Another one that I'm not really familiar with. I go back and I think, did George Martin know what he had when he recorded this? And George Martin can't let anything go without George Martin. He was just the fifth Beatle. How come I don't even know this one? We didn't know it was wrong. 
one of my favorites in the album. It's a beautiful song. You can always know it's them, no matter what. Their voices are so wonderful, the way they blend. It's a sad one. She's leaving home. At the time, it didn't mean that much to me. Now I can relate to that much more. Oh, I love this song. There will be a show tonight on trampoline. And tonight, Mr. Kite is topping the bill. U.S. artists would have never tried this. Never in a million years. I wonder who wrote that. Now that I think about it more, this area of their music, I really wasn't... Uh, entertained with. I think this was a transition point. I remember the clothes they were wearing. They were all colorful like crazy, like kaleidoscope of all kind of colors on that album. They're taking me back to the days of um, studying and just hanging out with friends. This is one that everybody for sure thought they were loaded to the back. Not, not my favorite uh, era for them. Their music was changing uh, to where I really uh, can't say I cared for this album. It was very different at the time, it, it, and it was very different for them. Everybody thought for sure that they did the whole thing loaded, and, and that it was just a, it was sourced by the drugs that they took. When I get older, oh yeah, they said I know. Many 64 is not old. <laughs> Will he still be sending me a valentine? I like this. Birthday greetings, bottle of wine. If I'd been out till quarter to three, would you lock the door? Will you still need me? Will you still feed me when I'm 64? No, she won't. She's gone. <laughs> Will you still feed me when I'm 64? Good God, what kind of a lyric is that for a pop hit? How oh, things change, 64 sounded absolutely beyond old. I'd love to be 64 again. I like this too. May I inquire I find your words. I like the beat of this, and I like, again, their harmonies, because you can't get enough of their harmonies. No one, no one can, can be like them. They're just original. The musicality was so great. And then the costumes they put on, those satin military costumes, and by then they all were kind of hippie. And it, it was, again, just it was something so different from what other people were doing. After a while you start to smile, now you feel cold. That's a little different. I probably am too old. I don't remember this song. Nothing has changed, it's still the same. I like this song. Nothing to say, but it's okay. Good morning, good morning. Yeah, that had a little more beat to it. I forget about some of the songs, and this is a great song. Oh, great. I love the Beatles, so. I mean, I can't, you can't go wrong with Beatles music, man. <laughs> oh, that's the same one as the first one, right? We hope you enjoyed the show. I did. I enjoyed the show so much. Yeah, it's a happy song. It's like a whole concert, uh, and this is their... Goodbye song. It brings back fun times. That was all about uh, the days of free love and love beads. It was really insane. Without any drugs, I mean, it was just fun and crazy. The crowd of people turned away. Oh, yeah, this is the one. Yeah. I love this song. But I just have to look. Kind of sad and melancholy. This was sort of like a downer song. the music in this. There had never been a rock band that did this. They had all that orchestral stuff. This, this music all had strange vibes to me. This recording could be a hit anytime. Woke up, fell out of bed, dragged the gun across my head. They have to count them all. 
little sadness to it. Again, I didn't know it was a drug song at the time. Just, I can't believe 50 years have gone by. It's not hardcore, it's not negative things coming out of their mouths. It's, it's good music. I grew up and was young at a time when there were just incredible musicians and groups. So uh, when Sgt. Peppers was released, the Beatles had decided to stop touring, so many people, knowing that they would not be performing these songs live, gave them room to experiment, which led them to create this album. Right, when they came to the Philippines, I was one of those that was shouting. And many had concerns about the band changing their sound from their more pop-centric roots. So having lived through the Beatles' evolution, what are your thoughts about all of this? Well, I, I myself, uh, like many, probably didn't like the transition, but could understand that uh, sometimes you need something new, something different. At the time, they, you know, I said, what in the world are these four young men? They look, um, they look so, so messy, and their hair is long, and they're making these noises. <laughs> Now it seems very conservative. <laughs> there were groups of people that were like all disappointed because they didn't keep the same thing as uh, they used to have, but all of my friends were very excited about it. We thought it was a blast. So this album now is considered to be one of the best albums ever created. So can you tell us some of your memories of how it was received at the time that it was released? Well, me and my friends, we would listen to all sorts of music and the Beatles was just one of the groups that we liked. One of my buddies, uh, Happened to, happened to score one when it very first came out. He went to the basement, listened to the music, and I went, wow, that's different. You know, it was so strange uh, compared to what they had done before. As I recall, it was received very well immediately, even though they did these offbeat arrangements and songs. Anything they did was okay by me, to be quite honest, but I kind of liked the fact that they made me think and made me experience something new. In fact, I had to buy a second album because I really did wear that out. So last question, when you listen to a band like the Beatles, with this album being now 50 years old and you living through all of it, what kind of thoughts does it give you? It makes me feel good knowing that uh, I got to see the beginning of it. it. Makes me feel really old, man. When you hear it's 50 years ago, you're like, no way! I still remember sitting in my living room and listening to the album for the first time. It doesn't seem that long ago, but it's 50 years. It makes you a little sad. Life goes by so darn fast. I can't believe I am, it's been 50 years, I really, it's hard to believe. Listening to that today, because I haven't listened to it in quite a while, I really, it was like visiting an old friend that you love so much. They were so extraordinary and one of a kind, and they just, they brought so much joy. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Let us know what music from the past we should react to next. Thanks for watching everyone. Goodbye. Hi, I'm Ethan. And I'm Locke. We're part of the production team that helps put these videos together. And we put these episodes together with a little help from, from our, our friends. friends. Bye. Bye. Bye.